When looking to enter the wildlife filmmaking scene, it's important to spend time around people with similar ambitions and mindsets. This series follows my adventures in and around the Bristol area with like-minded photographers and filmmakers, where we'll explore the beautiful British countryside, have some unique wildlife encounters, and make sure absolutely none of it is serious. This is Wildlife Wonders. It's time, there we are. Oh, great cut. So today we've come to Lawrence Weston, which is a uh, little area. I don't really know what you call it, like a nature reserve? Yeah. Sort of nature reserve. Mini nature reserve. Mini nature reserve. Somewhere that Russell here has wanted to, well, he's been many times, but he's wanted to bring us along. Russell, I believe you're one of the more permanent members of the Wildlife Wonders series at the moment. How many have you been in? Well, I don't know, I've lost count. Yeah. I've had the joy of being in several. Yeah, but there's the potential here to see some quite exciting things. There's already, I can see tons of birds crossing the river. There's also the potential to see some nice inverts in the grass and by a pond down here. Um, that'll be very nice. And there's also the potential to see water voles. Now, we're not promising anything, um, but it could happen. So we're pretty excited today. There's a meadow. Gosh, this is very nice. We're going this way. Basically a whole range of habitats stuffed into one place. And later we're going to be joined by um, Matt, Ben, Aisha and Tori. They're all going to join us later for the rest of the day. Reed warblers. There's, there's the reeds and there's warblers in there. Reed warblers. This is where you need to come, somewhere like a reed bed. Mm. Um, in the spring where they come to nest. There's loads of places on the coast where you've got a lot of reed beds, but you also get these inland reed beds. This is quite a small one. There's uh, must be a reed, reed bunting just going in there. Let's go down. So we're going to have a look. look at that. Come on. Through a water wall. Oh, cool! Yeah, that's sick. I really, I really thought you were going to say otter. Yeah. I, was, I, was about to, <laughs> I was about to get really upset. Otter would have been. It does pay to get out of bed at the right time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Matt. That was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I blame you. <laughs>
So seeing my first water vault ever was pretty amazing and I was dead happy with the day so far. We then walked through some fields, but unfortunately I managed to record this whole section in maximum frame rate, which has no audio at all. So I don't really remember what I was talking about. It could have been anything, but it probably wasn't that exciting. We basically just walked through fields, over bridges, and through some gates. I then found Matt rummaging around in a field with his camera and asked him what he was doing to the dragonflies. What are you doing to the dragonflies? Photographing them. Matt, what have you seen? Tell me. What are they? That's not a dead ladybird. No. <laughs> we, we're looking at like uh, a mass of ladybirds and ladybird type bugs. Uh, my knowledge on the subject is not good enough to go any further than that. <laughs> Let's have a look. Where, where, where are we talking? So you've got one here. That's probably easiest for you. These are bizarre. Actually, yeah, I'm going to look at this one here. Actually, this is what le this. There's a middle ground one there. So if you look on the right, there's one that looks almost like a ladybird. This is you get this? Found, this that? Have you seen these things? Sorry, I found my top shape. Wait, there's that one there. Don't know. Uh, it's a um, ladybird larvae. And then that? The orange thing, yeah. Is it? They're larvae. They're orange, In the there's loads of them all over the yeah, nettles. Cool. Yeah, they're all Look who we've got! I found two little, two little people. <laughs> we've dropped off Ben and Matt. Oh, I'm, do I'm talking to. I'm going to introduce these two, who are wonderfully blanketed up. I'm going to go f directly through the middle. I think. Hello. This is Tori, Hello. and this is Asia, <laughs> and they're both wrapped up because it's raining. <laughs> We're gonna go out to the grassland and find some inverts and do some macro photography. So we've got our macro lenses on and some lights. And we're gonna see what's around. It's a good time of year, not the best time of year for inverts, but it's pretty good. So we've seen quite a bit already today. Yeah, and bam, nice little trail. Shall we go down here? Let's do it. Ooh, let's go down here and then we'll just like stop somewhere when we see something maybe. Pretty nice walking through this meadow though. Let's, let's go by this fence, I reckon. Wow, so lush around here. Proper nice. Well, that was nice. Matt's got some <laughs> right here. He's laying in it earlier, but I didn't really want to say anything. Have I actually? <laughs> I can't really see it, but. I don't think I do. No, I don't. Do I actually? <laughs> ah! Me and Russell tried to go and do some macro stuff, and it failed. I, we got some nice we stuff. Got, we got, got a, a couple lot. of shots. We got a couple of shots. Don't, um, don't stay in bed too long. Get up. You see more. Wow. Um, Bam. Okay. Um, Aisha. Yeah. Before we go, because you've only just arrived, <laughs> and Tori, mm -hmm. who's falling over behind you, what message have you got for everyone today? Because, you know, you've only briefly appeared so far. Get outside, even if you're not really feeling it, because it makes such a difference. Like, we haven't done a massive, well, me and Tor haven't done a massive walk. We haven't been taking lots of pictures, but just being able to go outside mm. and enjoy it is like, helped so much. That's actually a much more wholesome message than what Russell said. What do you think I was going to say? Well, you got <laughs> on your face. <laughs> well, what about you? What's your message of the day? Well, I'd rather be watching TikTok in the field than watching TikTok on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
that's actually I think something that lots and lots of people can relate to wholesome content yes. good oh my lord I'm actually quite pleased with that you two little blighters <laughs> right and on that bombshell well uh, oh <laughs> he's damaging my camera well uh, we'll round up for this time and um oh I've no not... don't run <laughs> You're that desperate to get on that's camera. That's it, that's it. He is so desperate to get desperate. on camera. All right, see you all next time. What's up now? Um, Matt and I are gonna we're gonna do some macro. We're gonna yeah, I don't know, that's rubbish.